Power is the rate at which work is done or energy is expended. And from that definition, we can find the formula which says that the rate at which work is done, meaning the amount of work divided by the amount of time that it would take. And so we can demonstrate the difference between work and power with a very simple example. We can show an example here of a person who has applied a 1000 Newton force to push a car a distance of 10 meters. And we can then use our original formula for the work done by the applied force to find that it is the product of the applied force, the displacement and the cosine of the angle between the two. The applied force was given as 1000, the displacement was 10 meters and the applied force and displacement were in the same direction and therefore we can say that this person or this applied force has done 10,000 joules of work. Now until this point we have not discussed the speed at which anything is done because obviously there's a very big difference between this being done in 3 seconds compared to this being done in 30 seconds or this being done in 10 seconds compared to being done in 100 seconds and that difference is what we call power because we can say if this is done in 10 seconds so it takes this person 10 seconds to push the car 10 meters then we can say that this person's power output is the work over the time that it took the work done we just said was 10,000 joules and the time in this first example was 10 seconds which means that the average power output was 1,000 and what we can see here is that would be joules per second which we can also just call the units for power as watts so this person's power output was 1000 watts whereas this can be changed now to say well what would happen if this took 20 seconds we can see that it is still possible to apply a 1000 newton force and move the car that 10 meters the difference now though would be that that work done would be still the same the force and the displacement are the same but the time has now changed which means that less power was required as we can see the work done is still 10,000 joules the time is now 20 seconds which means that there were only or there was only a power output of 500 watts this is a very small addition to the work energy power section as it is very often just the last question where once you have calculated the work done by a force or the network you can then calculate the power output once you have been given a time component it is also possible to adapt this formula as we know that work is the product of force and displacement and the cosine of the angle between the two and we can then rearrange that formula to see that displacement over time is also the velocity and so what we can find is that a simplified formula for average power p average is equal to the force times the average velocity of an object which is useful because it is now we are now capable of calculating the power output for any object that is moving at a constant velocity by just using the force and that average constant velocity